hey guys welcome to the channel it's calendar here it's been a while since i filmed a makeup video and boy am i nervous but i'm so excited to be back and filming one of my favorite content ever which is like makeup videos so as you guys can tell by the title today we are trying underpainting on like problematic skin a face or a skin that has melasma and hyperpigmentation underpainting is basically doing your makeup backwards what you do first you do last and what you do last you do first that's just basically what underpainting is and i was so nervous trying underpainting especially on a skin that has melasma and hyperpigmentation especially since i do have those on my t-zone i've been seeing a lot of this trend on tiktok and i haven't come across anybody who have the same uh, skin problems as i do try this this technique and i wanted to try it to try it on myself so that i can be able to share with you guys that i know to have the same problem like you no know, like skin problem like who have the same type of skin problems that i do and i'm really happy that i tried this routine and boy was i surprised i'm not gonna give too much into this intro but guys just do watch the video and all the products that i used in this video will be listed in the description box down below so please do check out from the eyebrows to literally like everything that will be in the description box down below. so do check it out i don't want to say too much but welcome let's just get right into this video because i'm excited for you guys to see it because <laughs> look at this face look at this face like from here to this <laughs> let's just leave it there let's just get right into the video i already prepped and primed my skin off camera as well as did my eyebrows we all know a good makeup look starts with like a very well moisturized skin put on your you know your serum moisturizer as well as sunscreen never skip sunscreen now we just want to get this hair off there so that we can just start with the makeup I'm going to color correct a little bit on my on my teeth on my forehead as well as on my cheeks but you guys can see that my hyperpigmentation is way way much better than it has been like ever i'll be sharing with you guys my skincare routine so i'm just gonna color correct off camera and then i'll be right back As I mentioned before, underpainting is basically doing your makeup backwards. I'm gonna start with contour. I've been using this W Beauty contour stick to contour. I like using a contour that isn't too dark, that isn't too far off from my foundation shade. As I don't have to struggle a lot with blending it in and just a little bit on my forehead. Highlight. I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible More Than Concealer, and my shade is 335. Love, love this concealer. I've been using this for years. Just love how full coverage it is. I'm only gonna place a little bit just right here, and then just then do the same on this side. I've actually never done this technique before. I've never contoured, then went on with the highlight and then blending everything together. I'm gonna start blending off the contour while we let the concealer sit. And I'm just using an angled brush. I'm just gonna be dabbing the products into the skin and I'm not gonna swipe. Do the same on the other side. And then on my, on my chin area, I want this to sculpt my face. I'm just going to blend it downwards. I'm going to take whatever's left of the brush and just contour on my chin, just under my lip, and then just a little bit on my nose. I'm using a concealer brush to blend this. I'm just going to start on my eye. And just slowly take my time and just blend this under my eye. I actually forgot to highlight under here. Just gonna do a little bit so if you're somebody who uses um a liquid 
blush you could try it ahead at this stage and go ahead and, and add your your blush as well but i do not have any liquid blush so i just use my powder blush which i'm gonna do later on i'm gonna show you guys which is my favorite so because i crease a lot under my eyes i'm just gonna go right ahead and set my eyes i'm gonna use the yardley absolute translucent powder I'm not gonna do too much because we're still gonna go on with the powder. I'm just trying to prevent creasing. For foundation, I've been using the Maybelline Superstay Active Wear Foundation, and I'm in the shade 61 Warm Bronze. Love, love, love this foundation. We've been obsessed with this for years, since like 2021. I'm just applying the foundation everywhere where I color corrected as well as the area so i'm only applying the foundation of the areas where i did not put any concealer and contour and under painting actually helps you to use less products if you're somebody like me who used to go on with a lot of a lot of and i mean a lot of foundation to be able to cover my upper pigmentation i feel like under painting is gonna help i'm not sure how i'm gonna feel about the final you know like the final look that we'll see i love how full coverage this foundation is and it's so long lasting then i'm just gonna blend Just gonna go on with a second pump on my face as well i like doing this with my foundation because of my hyperpigmentation but i feel like if your hyperpigmentation is better than me or you don't have any at all i feel like just one pump is all that you need in order to get a flawless base you need to blend you need to take in your time and blend Blend in the products into your skin, just dab, 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 dab. This will give you a much, much better flawless face. I'm going in with my contour brush and just applying in whatever product it was left off. And I'm going with the foundation brush again, just blend this together to prevent harsh lines. Oh, I love this already. Love, love, love. Now with a damp beauty sponge, I'm just going to blend a little bit under my eyes. And now go in with the powder. And to my other eye, I'm just bringing it down a little bit. Oh, do you see how flawless under my eyes? using the Avon bronzing powder this is in the shade deep 10 my favorite part of makeup blush I'm gonna use this shade in this palette i'm authentic palette is just it just has your it has some three shades of blush highlight and one shade of contour got this from edgar's and i'm just gonna place this on my cheekbones you guys see how beautiful this color looks on me I'm gonna go in with my all over the face powder. I use the Maybelline Fit Me powder and I'm in the shade 332 Golden Caramel. 
I'm just going to apply this everywhere. A little bit on the bridge of my nose, as well as on the tip of my nose. Then the last step, I'm just gonna set my face with the Maybelline Lasting Fix. So this is the finished look. I'm obsessed already what do you guys think i love it love love this routine i love how lightweight it is so natural so skin like and i went in with only two pumps of foundation with my normal routine i'll use around five to six pumps to get the same coverage that i did i think it's safe to say this is my new favorite routine i think the only con uh that i saw is that i creased a little bit under my eyes on this side that is with my normal routine i would as soon as i blend it I'll right away go ahead and like fully set under my eyes. I think the mistake that I did with this routine is that I use like the baby minimum amount of powder. Normally I would set my eyes with a bit more and then yeah. So but I love the finish. Love love this makeup how it looks on me. I love how skin like it is. You can still see me like my natural this dark spot that i do have right here it's still there still visible that's what i love that's why i'm enjoying this i wanted to try this routine to show you guys that even if you have melasma hyperpigmentation or even acne scarring that you can still be able to you know do underpainting and still be able to get a very forest nature looking base and if you guys do try this routine do let me know in the comment section down below how it works for you what products did you use um just to see how it goes but for me uh, it's safe to say this is gonna be like one of my favorite routine that i'll be doing like under painting technique uh, under painting like love 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 it so far i'm so happy i'm really glad that i tried it and again all the products that i used to create this look will all be listed in the des description box down below so please do check it out thank you so much guys for watching do subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet i'll see you in my next video bye